Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been forever since I've filmed an actual like beauty video. I am trying to stick to a schedule moving forward. I know you've heard me say that for the past year. And if you guys are here after all of that, after all these years, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because I know I haven't been the most consistent. Um, I've taken a lot of time to kind of like figure out if this is really what I wanted to do, if my I still had a passion for it. Um, I've also been going through a ton over the past few years, which I will get into it in more depth in a different video. And I know I've said that a million times, but I'm actually, I think, in the right mindset to finally be vulnerable and talk about that kind of stuff with you guys. But to just get back in the swing of things, I thought I would just film a light hearted like first impressions video because I have a ton of new products and I feel like what you you guys still don't know enough about me. One of the fun facts I guess is I love products like I know it's like every beauty guru kind of loves a lot of stuff but I am 100% a product junkie because I feel like I'm really picky when it comes to formulas and I'm always on the lookout to like try so many things and I feel like when I worked at Sephora the reason I kept I stayed there for so long was because I felt like it would have helped my YouTube channel so much like product knowledge wise but I feel like I never took advantage of me working there because I feel like I still wasn't as consistent on YouTube when I did work at Sephora if that makes sense <sighs> but without rambling on I thought we'd just get started as you can see I have a whole new lighting setup I don't know if you guys have no no, no will notice but it's crazy how far I feel like I've come when it comes to my filming setup we moved into a much bigger place alhamdulillah so I actually have my own filming room now and it's huge compared to our last space um, we lived in a two-bedroom apartment and the second bedroom was kind of half Layla's room mostly my filming space because she'd still sleep in our room but now she has her own room and as you if you guys watched Layla's vlog which is up now on my channel as well then you'll see how we kind of did her room but yeah so I have a lot of space to work with and I'm really excited and I'm so motivated to get back in the swing of things and actually have a consistent schedule I feel like I'm at the place where I'm gonna put my everything into it now and I feel like I've never really done that I may have done it in the beginning but still I don't feel like I've ever had like a filming schedule and I think that'll be consistent so let's just get into it my main look inspiration is inspired by this beautiful hijab from oh hijab I believe it's in the shade olive but if I'm wrong I will put a little correction here but it's really pretty for fall and that's kind of how I pick my makeup looks is like what I'm gonna wear scarf wise I kind of like to be a little matchy matchy but we'll see so this is the inspiration that I'm going <laughs> with today and yeah so I just applied a little bit of the Huda Beauty primer this is called the complexion perfection pre makeup base it's so amazing it smells so good and it's nice and thick and moisturizing so I feel like I don't need to combine a moisturizer with this primer and it's really nice and smoothing it's like spackle for your face and I really like it I just got that sample one in her foundation this is the elf acne fighting foundation it's 0.5% salicylic acid I got the shade buff I've never tried it before so I'm really excited um I don't really have acne per se but I feel like I break out just like everyone else maybe more than everyone else when I tend to eat hot Cheetos <laughs> but yeah get a good amount because I feel like my brush soaks up so much of it so now I'm just gonna take this eco tool custom coverage buffing brush oh actually I need to slip back my eyebrows first But I finally have my skincare under control. I just haven't been consistent with it the past couple of days, so that's why I'm kind of breaking out. I also ate hot Cheetos last night. 
But yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with that foundation. <laughs> And then I'm going to blend it out with Elsie Cosmetics' new Velvet Blending Sponge. If you don't know what Elsie Cosmetics is, it is a makeup line by Makeup by Lilith. She's amazing. She's such an amazing makeup artist. I look up to her very much. Anyway, she came out with these new Velvet Blending Sponges. I'm so excited to use it. I just dampened it just like any beauty blender. And look how big it is when you add water. I don't know if I'll ever buy a beauty blender ever again because look, like it takes up like half your cheek. So it's like so much less work. And it's just so soft. It's just like the beauty blender. I swear to God, when I first got it, I was squishing it. And I was like, oh my God, I think she literally did it. Because I feel like everyone's tried to duplicate the beauty blender that but hasn't been able to or replicate like the texture because that's what makes the beauty blender so special. It's so like bouncy. Not super stiff like the Real Technique ones and stuff, which I still love, but um, they're just different. Love the sponge, love the foundation. Okay, Elle, I see you. I just put on lip balm to try and hydrate my lips because they're super dry. So I think as far as concealers go, I'm going to be using... This Naked Skin one, it's the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I haven't used it in a really long time. And I can't find my Tarte one because that's usually, I don't switch up concealer too often. Blend it out with the sponge. All right, so I'm gonna blend out my creases and then set it with some Laura Mercier Transition Setting Powder. I'm just gonna use the Beauty Blender because I don't want to get powder on this because I'm going to keep using this for my night liquids. I said it looks like a lot, but it's going to keep all the makeup locked in and mattified throughout the day. And I think now I'm going to lightly set the rest of my face with this MAC Studio Fix powder. Just because when I start to do my eyebrows, I don't want it slipping and sliding. I think I'm going to put a little bit of that concealer on my eyelids. Alright, so moving on to my brows. I've fallen in love with the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. It's so creamy and so small and you can really define lines and just really draw in like hair strokes. I bought so many of these recently because Target had a deal where it was like buy two, get a $5 gift card. So I went a little crazy because I'm always buying them and they're $8.99. So it's a pretty good deal. Look how thin that is. you can see you can get really sculpted eyebrows and in like minutes because this thing is so creamy I'm obsessed with it I use the shade blonde but it goes on as like a soft brown so if you have really light roots like I do I definitely recommend this like 100% all right so next for my eyes I'm going to be using the hidden treasures eyeshadow palette from bare minerals they sent this to me it's part of their holiday collection I am obsessed. It has 18 different shades. I'm trying to hold it upside down because it's got a really big, amazing mirror that will give a really strong, like, glare. But you get the perfect amount of, like, metallic finishes, shimmer shades, and matte. There's so many matte shades in this palette, and that's why I really like it. I'm really excited to try it out. And then... For my base of my shimmer shadows, that's what I'm going to use for my matte shades and my crease. I'm going to take this eyeshadow from MAC's Holiday Collection. It's the MAC Style Stylishly Merry Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in the shade Stylishly Merry. But it changes color. There's like pink and 
gold. There's pink and gold. It's crazy. It's like an extra dimension eyeshadow. It's so pretty, but I'm kind of sad because I don't know if the pink's going to show up and if it's just going to look gold. But we're going to try it anyway. I'm just going to blend out what I have on my eye, the concealer that's on my eye. And I'm going to take the number five shade, Wheat. It's just a really nice matte brown. All right, next I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer. I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to try it out. But I like to use glitter primers for like really shimmery eyeshadows, especially to have that duochrome finish because I like to pack it on. And I feel like it just sticks really nicely. Then apply the Stylish Lee Mary eyeshadow on top. So next, I'm going to take number six, Boardroom, just a really nice dark brown matte eyeshadow, and just add a little bit more of that in the crease. And I'm using this really skinny Morphe M514. Everybody needs to get this brush. It's so tiny. It's a little blending brush. I feel like you can't mess up your makeup if you use this. It's amazing. Now I'm just going to knock off the powder from under my eyes. I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and go down the center of my nose. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Holy Grail bronzer, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I'm going to be using the Morphe E47 brush. This is an amazing brush for contouring your nose because it makes it really easy. Take this Urban Decay Perversion. I got this in this Halloween box they sent. The Urban Decay Perversion 24 7 Glide On Pencil. So, at Gem Beauty New York, in the big Gem Beauty goodie bag, I got this Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara, and I absolutely love it. To Alright, so also at Gem Beauty New York, I got to meet someone who I've admired for such a long time and I've followed her for a really long time as well. Um, on Instagram, she's an amazing makeup artist from Dearborn, Michigan, I believe. And I think she's Lebanese, but I'm not 100% sure. But she's stunning, beautiful, and super sweet, and she's got the cutest little family. Anyways, yeah, I'll just put her Instagram right here. But she came out with her own lash line, and she sent some to me. So thank you so much to that. I'm so excited to finally try one of the pairs today. And it comes in a box like this. And the ones that I'll be using are Dawn, and they are luxury mink lashes. And I will put a link down below where you can purchase them if you would like to support her business. She's amazing, and I think you should if you need some lashes. But these are so pretty and wispy. These are just the old velour lash tweezers, which I'm obsessed with, and I wish they'd make them like this still. They make these new gold ones, which just aren't as good, if you ask me. They're just too thick, where these were like really flimsy, kind of, really bendable. And not as harsh on your eye. I really love these lashes because they're so e like bendable. So I feel like they're gonna be really comfortable on the eye. So for the lash glue, I'm going to be using Huda Beauty's lash glue. It is so amazing. I get it at Sephora online. Thank you, Sigma Toto, for making it available in the US. Finally, it's fast drying, waterproof. So if your eyes water a lot like mine, they're not gonna pop off in the corners. Okay, so now that that's done, I think these lashes are so amazing, Dora, and I'm so happy for you. I'm going to put a little shadow on the lower lash line. So I think I'm going to add a little brow highlight, so I'm going to go in with the shirt. Maybe I should go with ivory. I'm probably going to go in with some ivory. It's just a really nice matte white.
my holy grail for the lower lashes is going to be the benefit they're real loves it I got another Mac package. This is the Robert Lee Morris collection. This is one of the pieces. This is the Pro Longwear powder, and it is a press powder. But wait till you see what it comes in. Oh my god, this is a powder. Like what? It is so cute. I mean, it's it's so cool. It's more cool than it is cute. This is in the shade dark. I don't know why they would send me a dark, but that's okay because I'm going to be using it as a bronzer. This is how it opens up, a little clam. You get the mirror, you got the mirror and the powder, and I'm going to be using that as a bronzer. I'm going to be using the NARS Man Ray Highlighter in the shade Double Take. It is such a pretty gold highlighter. I can't wait. It's wearing my skin. I'm just going to take this small Morphe M573 brush. It's like an eyeshadow brush. But... Oh my god, I don't know. This might be a little too peach for my skin. Okay, we'll try it. really soft look. Okay, so I didn't realize it stopped recording, sorry. So all I did was take this Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil by Gerard Cosmetics. If you haven't tried Gerard Cosmetics lip liners, they're really amazing and they're really cheap. And then I'm going to put some Child Star on top, this is the Melted Matte by Too Faced. Alright, so next I'm going to take my favorite setting spray, one of my favorite setting sprays. I have very many, but this is definitely in the top three. It's the Glam Glow Glow Setter. Um, I love it because it's a very fine, luxurious mist, like super fine. It doesn't drench your face like some other ones, even though I like that sometimes, but for the most part, I just like a nice dewy set, and I feel like Glam Glow does it, so, and it smells so good. Ooh, it smells so good. It's like citrusy. I don't know. It's really nice. So I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Really concentrate on the cheek area. Dry it. I don't know where Layla got this fan, but I use it. <laughs> and that is the finished look. I'm going to put my scarf on and I'll be right back. I kind of want to put some shimmer on my lips. Mm. Not too much. Never too much. <laughs> Just my scarf now. Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm going to be filming how I wrap this scarf. I don't know if I've done it in a past video because I don't wear my scarf very many ways, so I can only do so many hijab tutorials, I feel like. But this is definitely one of my go-tos, especially in the winter. Or when I'm trying to make a statement, like I'm a hijabi, you know? Instead of wearing like a turban wrap or just trying to go under the radar. <laughs> But yeah, it's one of my favorite ways as well, just because, like I said, that makes a statement. And it's the most modest, because you're completely covered. I hope you guys like it. I really, really, really want to do a giveaway in my next beauty video. Because how I'm doing my schedule is I feel like I'm going to start by uploading one beauty video, one vlog a week, and then hopefully add another one in between. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll see. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear what you guys would like to see on my channel in the comments below. I read all your guys' comments and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day or night to post or write anything or just like. And yeah, so I'd love to do a giveaway in one of the upcoming videos. So if you guys 
would comment down below what you'd want to get or what do you think I should give away. That would be amazing. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and inshallah until next time. Assalamualaikum.